Hello, I am Tim Wilson, Mayor of the Kentish Municipality in Northwest Tasmania, including the Township of Wilmot, Tasmanian State winner of the Keep Australia Beautiful Sustainable Communities Award. In every corner of Tasmania we find unique environments, beautiful scenery and one-of-a-kind townships that deliver memorable experiences. Wilmot with its stunning landscapes, verdant farmland, wilderness world heritage areas and diverse cultural heritage is one of the more memorable Tasmanian experiences for any visitor. Wilmot is known as the Valley of Views for its spectacular panoramas of Tasmania's remote northwest mountains, behind a foreground featuring Lake Barrington and flanked by fertile farmland. With a population of less than 400, the Wilmot Township is one of a dying breed, a classic small country town where residents take immense pride in their community and work together to create a unique destination with much to offer visitors and new residents. We encourage visitors to our region to stop at Wilmot, meet the friendly locals, learn some of the history of Tasmania's pioneering past and explore our region's attractions including the Fourth Falls Nature Reserve, the Novelty Letterbox Trail and Wilmot Museum to name a few. Wilmot is gateway to one of Tasmania's iconic tourist destinations, Cradle Mountain Lake St Clair National Park. This World Heritage Area is a wonderland of rolling moorlands, ancient forests, scenic boardwalks and curious wildlife of devils, wombats, echidnas, paddy melons, wallabies and platypus. Located in the National Park, Waldheim Chalet was the home of Gustav and Kate Weindorfer, who built their chalet as a place for visitors to explore Cradle Mountain and appreciate its beauty. In 1921, Weindorfer was successful in establishing a scenic reserve and wildlife sanctuary from Cradle Mountain to Lake St Clair. Weindorfer, or Dorfer as he was known, and his remarkable achievement in preserving the Cradle Mountain area is celebrated to this day with the Gustav Weindorfer Memorial Celebration. From 2019, this celebration has been held in Wilmot with interactive displays, local history presentations, performances by the Crescendo Choir, and homestyle cooking, the memorial is an excellent example of a community celebrating their cultural heritage. Wilmot is more than just a stop on the way to Cradle Mountain. It is also a part of the Bio Corridor that supports the Wilderness World Heritage Area. Several Wilmot residents have created privately owned land conservation areas. They and their neighbours are committed to the protection and management of the natural values of their properties, wildlife conservation and rescue, and the protection of Tasmania's temperate forests. One of the more spectacular nature reserves, Forth Falls, forms part of the Mersey Forth Hydroelectric Scheme. Kennish is a proud contributor to the state's hydroelectric schemes, with numerous power stations within the municipality. One of our dams is shortlisted as a potential site for pumped hydro to provide renewable power for our nation. In 2018, a dedicated group of volunteers undertook the challenge of opening a walking track to the famous Fourth Falls. This has now opened up the opportunity for many to enjoy the pristine flora and fauna of the reserve. The Mersey Fourth catchment also includes the stunning Lake Barrington Recreation Reserve. Lake Barrington is a place of stunning beauty and is perfect for swimming, rowing, water skiing, canoeing and big fish angling. On your way to Lake Barrington, you may encounter Wilmot's Novelty Letterbox Trail. Local residents have created their own distinctive letterboxes from recycled materials in one of the most unusual attractions in the region. Bookended by the life-size TARDIS letterbox at the southern end and a life-size Dalek at the northern end, the trail features about 80 letterboxes stretched over 25 kilometres from Gentle Annie Hill to Moena. The Letterbox Trail was an initiative by the community to encourage social connectedness and drive regional tourism development. As the Mayor of Kentish, I take pride in Wilmot's fierce independence and community spirit. As a township, they celebrate their residence, culture and identity. The Wilmot Museum was established in 2006 and takes an active role in the vibrant social life of the community. The Children's University of Tasmania uses the museum as a learning destination and it is also actively involved in the conservation of Wilmot's wartime history and pioneering past. 
Museum Coordinator, Wendy Charleston, was acknowledged for her service to Tasmania's Heritage Preservation and the Community of Wilmot with an Order of Australia Medal in 2017. Wendy is the fourth resident of Wilmot to receive an OAM. Wendy is representative of the true strength of Wilmot, its people, surrounded by natural beauty, iconic landmarks, and with a growing adventure and ecotourism economy, Wilmot would not have achieved so much without the locals that live and love the town. Most recently, two local Wilmot women organised a regional women's conference to celebrate women who live and work in rural, remote areas, with around 35 women attending. One of the outcomes of the conference is a series of community-driven short courses on subjects ranging from worm farming to chainsaw maintenance. These individuals saw a need for women to share their knowledge in the community and they worked to fill it. To celebrate the visit by Keep Australia Beautiful Judge Gail Langley, the Wilmot community produced a short video highlighting their community spirit and a brief few of the community programs that are available in their small town. visit Wilmot for its spectacular natural beauty, but you stay because of the people. <laughs> 